the next set of robots that could have a huge impact in the home are robots with hands that are able to move objects in the world more like what a human could do. Let me tell you what we're looking at here. This is actually a factory robot. We've staged it in front of the kitchen sink and the dishwasher, but we're asking it to do an extremely hard task. Let's think a little about what it takes to make a robot load the dishwasher. It needs to be able to recognize whether an object is a mug or a plate or silverware, or whether it's something to be discarded. It needs to understand the shape of that object, where it is in space, its orientation. One of the key capabilities of these systems is using feedback in our control algorithms. When we pick up the plate, we're constantly monitoring the forces we expect to see at the fingers, at the hand. We're using cameras to align the hand to the plate as it approaches. This makes the system much more robust. Someone comes along and closes the drawer on the robot, it's actually reasons enough to set the mug back down on the counter, open the drawer back up again, and finish the task. Traditionally, Robotics researchers have used physical testing to design their algorithms, but that's just too slow. We've seen a dramatic increase in the performance of our system. One of the big reasons for that has been our increased capabilities in terms of simulation and testing. We want to be able to test our algorithms in software in the same way we test them in hardware. In simulation, we can run many more tests and more diverse tests than what we run in the real world. Every night, we generate random configurations of the sink with random objects, trying to find the corner cases, the rare events, the situations that we never thought to try in physical test. The next wave is having the algorithms repair themselves when we find a counter example, a corner case the algorithm will automatically fix itself so that it doesn't make that mistake again. We finally reached the point where we do most of our design work in simulation and have a lot of confidence that if it did it right in simulation, it's gonna work in the real world. And that's a place that we haven't been before in the field of manipulation. TRI is making a big investment in manipulation. One of the fundamental challenges that we have is taking promising new technology and trying to make it reliable enough that we can trust putting it into somebody's home. I think this system we're showing you is one of the most advanced manipulation systems in the world, but it's still not good enough. The approach we're taking, simulation, perception, feedback control, these are broadly applicable to all of the tasks that we might want a robot to do in the home. Toyota sees a real need to help people age in place with dignity. Robotics is part of the future. It might actually be the difference between being able to live at home or having to move out to an assisted care facility. And manipulation is one of the key challenges in robotics that TRI is in a position to advance.